So Teach Global Ambassadors um, is a two and a half year project funded by the EU, co-financed by Scottish Government. And within that project, what we really wanted to do was find a model that works for supporting global citizenship in secondary schools. For me, being a Teach Global Ambassador involves leading the way in learning um, and teaching about global citizenship education, about world issues and teaching the young people and empowering them to believe that they can make a difference but also um, trying to encourage other staff members, other colleagues to get on board with this idea of teaching for sustainability, learning for sustainability. So the project involved bringing teachers together from Lithuania and Scotland to explore what global citizenship is, to have a think about where this fits into their specific subject area, um, to explore their values and their attitudes around some of the big global issues that we're facing today and how their subjects can support the young people to explore their values and attitudes too. I, I got involved with the Teach Global Ambassador, the TGA project, initially because it was something I was really interested in about finding about education out with my classroom, out with my country, and I thought this might have been a way to do it. I um, just had a general in, um, interest in improving my teaching, therefore the pupils' learning, and it certainly paid off. There are a few reasons why I got involved in the Teach Global Ambassador project. Um, I was looking for something new to bring into my classroom, something that would challenge myself and the pupils. And um, I was also really keen on the types of skills that the Teach Global Ambassador project encourages, skills of empathy and challenging injustice, belief that our young people can actually make a difference. So they really kind of struck a chord with me and I wanted to learn more and find out how I could develop these in my young people. The topic I was working on with my teacher was poverty. Well, hearing some of the stories um, about the people living in poverty, both in the UK and abroad, made me feel quite heartbroken for them, but learning about like how we could help them also made me feel quite hopeful that we might be able to solve it. Being a Teach Global Ambassador involves many things. First of all, learning yourself about global citizenship, then trying to fit it in easily into your curriculum in a natural way. It also involves spreading the work that you do, informing other people, trying to uh, ignite um, interest from others out with and within your school and your department, and ultimately giving the pupils an education of global citizenship that's natural and inspiring for them. It was interesting the way they were teaching it, the teachers were teaching it to us and getting the message across. I mean, we're watching videos of people personally being through forced, mar um, forced marriage, and we were told to do an uh, issue tree with the roots being the problems and the trunk of the issue and the leaves being the solutions and everything. We did that and we came up with ideas how to solve this problem. I've learned so much from my involvement in this project. I've learned about um, the types of skills that our young people are capable of developing and that they should be encouraged to develop. I've learned about myself as a teacher, the way that I teach um, and how important it is to be a facilitator of this learning rather than telling the young people this is how you should feel and this is what you should think. Um, so it's, it's been really interesting for me to take a step back and encourage the young people to get there on their own um, and I've been given lots and lots of strategies in how to, to encourage that in my classroom. One of the new skills that I've learned is the skill of empathy and being able to see things from other people's point of view. Um, I've also learned about how to look for other ways to solve problems than the one that we most typically use and see. Throughout the global citizenship education, it's become very important that when you're teaching the pupils that you're not imposing your values. During the training sessions, values was something we did focus on a lot. And out of all the teachers on the course, we all had ever so slightly different values. And initially, when you would look at somebody's values, you think a bunch of teachers would maybe have really similar ones, and in fact, you have different ones. So when you're carrying out this global education, it's really important that you're not telling the children what is good traditionally, what is bad, what is wrong. It's about getting them really to explore why that's their values and what do they want their values to be and you can share yours by all means with your reasoning but it was really like giving the pupils a chance to grow, to challenge their own, to challenge other people's and to start to become the adults that they want to be but have good positive reasons for becoming that.
I think the biggest thing my pupils have got from the project is um, a voice and a belief that, that they actually do have some power to make a difference and the ability to problem solve and, and think about how they can get to that point of actually making a difference and being the change that they want to see in the world. The new information I learned was that um, sometimes the things that we think of as helping people in poverty might not be quite as helpful as we see them as because, for example, things like fair trade don't get quite to the root of the problem as the things that might be better at solving the problem of raw poverty might be better education and health systems and things like that. I've definitely seen a growth in confidence. Um, some pupils that ordinarily might have just sat back and just taken things in um, have got involved and lent their voice and, and spoken up about issues and they've started to feel strongly about it. And something that really struck me was the, the raise in empathy. I wasn't quite sure if I'd really got there with the young people, but I was reading their reflections and listening to what they had to say. And, and they really have developed that skill of empathy for others. And I think that's really impressive. Uh, during the, SAI, uh, the food unit that we've been doing with the uh, second years, it's been really nice to tie in the uh, chemistry, biology curriculum with what they could practically do as scientists to help problems of fertilisers and food production in the world with what they think morally or their values would be, whatever they may be, there wasn't just one issue we looked at, but it was really nice and quite inspiring for them to start to realise that as well as the hard facts of science that you would need to do to carry out solutions that they could be carried out with some feeling and some aim behind them. I think the biggest um, difference the Teach Global Ambassador project had had on my teaching practice is it's given me a huge amount of confidence in delivering citizenship education, global citizenship education. I think I always thought my subject lent itself quite well to those topics that we explore and that I was quite able and confident in delivering them. But it wasn't until I got involved in the project that I learned that there's so much more depth that I should be going into and allowing the young people to explore. And I feel like I really now have the tools and the confidence to move forwards with that. It's now in place in our faculty improvement plan. So it will continue on as an important focus through chemistry, biology and physics and uh, the broad general education so that all teachers in the, our science department will have access to the material and know the importance of delivering the global education to everyone. Um, to any teacher that was looking to get involved in a similar project in the future, I would absolutely say go for it. Um, being given the time and the space and the opportunity to work with others who really know about um, global citizenship education is just the most amazing experience and the best CPD you could ever do. Um, as teaching for sustainability is now everybody's responsibility in the curriculum, the global citizenship education has provided a really nice, natural but interesting way to allow this to happen in the classroom. If I had to sum up my experience of the Teach Global Ambassador um, project in three words, it would be motivational, exciting and absolutely worthwhile.